This is a video detailing why my air gas is running out. Uh, I got this off another person on YouTube. You turn around, you look here, you see the date that I purchased this cylinder or had it exchanged for another one. 126.15 is barely February and I barely get any welding. Not enough. I mean, I, every time I would weld some TIG, it would uh, it would just seem like the gas needle would fall, needle would fall farther and farther really fast. So I know I wasn't welding that much. So I believe I have a leak. In fact, I know I have a leak. So if you watch the dials here, I'm gonna turn it on momentarily, then turn it back off. You can see that it falls. Silly me, I didn't even think anything about it. I thought it was actually just going to this side or going to the lines, but. You wash it real quickly. Falls pretty damn fast. Pretty big ass leak. Somewhere. So what I'm gonna do what well, somebody remedy. I'll mention the web the the link where I got it from. I'm gonna use a bottle of soapy water and spray and find out where the leak is. Cause it's it's a big ass leak. You wash again. It falls again, and it started over here around oh, 3,000 psi when I first got it exchanged. So, bottle of soapy water. We're gonna find out where the leak's at. Not there. That's surprising. Not here. They screwed me on one of their fittings. And that's where one of the leaks is. At the top where the fucking valve knob is. Harsh shit. But one of the leaks is. I don't know, Surprising, my connections aren't bad so far. There's another leak. To see that, there's another leak right here. Make that tighter. Turn it around. There's no leak there. Leak here and a leak at the damn top where the valve at from the meter from the exchanger. Or supply of the gas that is. So, that's how you check to see if you have leaks. I have a leak, and I'm going to fix and tighten them up.